Hello everyone. This video is on how to start using your newly created G Suite accounts. So G Suite is basically a collection of enterprise based applications like Gmail, Doc, Sheets. All these apps are available for free also, but the G Suite version will have a lot of features uh, which are only exclusive to G Suite users. Uh, previously, G Suite was known as Google Apps and we are switching to G Suite because of the security and privacy it provides and along with that we get a lot of features which will be very useful like uh, all the user accounts can be managed and created at a central point. So moving on how to start using on your iOS devices. So G Suite is not an application. G Suite uh, your account is just linked to all the apps. So basically what you have to do is you just have to sign into Google with that account and then you can start using all your apps. So in here, you can download any app like Google Meet or Google Calendar or even Google Classroom. All you have to do is open that app. It will ask you to select the existing account or you can add a new Google account. So click on add another account, then enter the newly created G Suite account. Now you have to enter the complete email address including kvschennairegion.in at the end of your email address. Uh, proceed with your password and that's it. You have signed into Google Meet with your G Suite account. Okay. Uh, at any point of time, you can again switch back to your personal account by clicking on the three dots and then uh, clicking on this arrow sign and you can manage your other accounts. Okay. So moving on uh, now, once you have signed in, uh, your account is ready to be used with any application. For example, uh, if you download Google Classroom, you just have to open Classroom, click on Get Started. And when the option is given to choose an account, the account that you previously signed in is already there. OK, so you just have to select that account. Uh, the process is similar uh, on the Android devices also. You just have to open the app. And if you have already signed in using your ID, just click on these three bars icon and uh, this arrow icon and then click on add another account and follow the same procedure to add your account. Now you can add your account in your phone's settings section also. Just go into settings and click on user accounts and you can add another Google account there and then it will appear in all your Google apps. So whenever you have to use an app with your G Suite ID, just switch that account to your G Suite account. And then uh, if you're using it on a desktop, how to use it on Google Chrome, uh, Chrome I'll just demonstrate it to you. Uh, it is recommended that you create a new profile for using G Suite account to avoid mixing up of your personal data with your work account. So let's create another account profile. So it will create a new user for your Google Chrome. Okay, so all the bookmarks, history, all the data will be different for, uh, for both the profiles. In your new profile, you can just go to accounts.google.com and then you can just start using your account. Okay, you can sign into your Google account. Uh, Again, I'll show you how to create the profile. You just have to click on this icon, your user icon on the Google Chrome. After clicking on this, you have to click on add a new profile. Okay, this is all the profiles existing and you can add a new profile in here and start using Chrome with that profile. At any point of time, you can switch to any other profile. For example, if I switch to this profile, now this is a different Chrome window and uh, it will have a separate database. Okay and this one will have a separate database. So in here, let me use uh, the G Suite account. You have to type in the complete email. Then type in your password, the default password. Uh, read the terms and conditions and click on accept. Now for the first time you have to set a password. Your password has to be a secure one. Uh, a weak password will not be accepted. So it has to be strong containing a capital letter, then small case letters and uh, special characters and uh, then you're good to go.
so once you log in it is just uh, logging into your normal google account okay all the apps will be there but uh, you'll be given more features more flexibility will be there so once you sign in uh, this uh, nine dots icon will give you access to all your google apps if you click on this icon you'll have all the apps gmail drive classroom docs sheets now all this uh, you'll be using with your G Store account so if you click on gmail you'll go to gmail and you can change the order of the appearance also you can just simply drag an icon if you want to change its position so you have google meet here also so this is the mail account associated with your g suite id and similarly in google meet you can click on join or start a meet and you can also schedule uh, google classroom meetings and the drive in this account will have unlimited storage there is no limit and you can go to your Jamboard to use it as a whiteboard for classroom teaching and let me quickly show you how to schedule a meet also for example you just have to go to google calendar now the benefit of this is that uh, when a classroom is created all the students uh, will just go to their uh, accounts and in their meet id the scheduled meet will automatically appear all the scheduled meetings okay so in here you can click on this create button to create an event or you can just click uh, in the time slot in which you want to create an event for example in here if you click uh, this creates an event so if i write meeting and add google meet video conferencing it will automatically add a meeting url with okay let me type it as class 12 and just save it okay so an event is scheduled and now if you go to google meet you can directly type meet.google.com also to go to google meet so it will show the scheduled class for all the users which will be having the same domain under this organization will be shown this meeting also so this google jamboard uh, it is like a whiteboard that can be used for classroom teaching you can draw on it you can write on it you can create sticky notes on it and it will be very helpful and you can have multiple boards also so this is like a pencil icon then you have markers and then you can click on erase also to erase everything okay you can put some sticky notes in uh, you can write something and you can put it anywhere on your board okay so that's basically all about your g suit ids uh, this icon will give you access to all your apps you can go through all your apps and the most important ones that we are using now is classroom and google meet so if you can click on classroom for the first time it will ask you uh, whether you are a student or a teacher so for students you have to click on i'm a student and for teachers you have to click on i'm a teacher so teachers will be allowed to create classes students will be allowed to join the classes created by teachers and teachers can automatically add students based on their email ids also so that will be covered up later uh, that's how you have to sign into your g account and how to use your accounts thank you